Okay, so we're going straight to the draft here now, ladies and gents. So this is going to be Harris versus John. <clears throat> and uh, the map is going to be... I can't, I, I'm finding it so difficult sometimes to work out which which maps these are from the little pictures. Oh, Bright Marsh! That's one I know for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the first one was... was uh, geez, all, It was like the old frozen payload temple. Frostbite Caverns. Thank you, production, for backing me up on that one. So... Okay, yeah, so it wasn't my fault then. It one. wasn't my fault to not recognize what it was. No, 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 no. That's good. I'm really excited for these next two sets coming up. Honestly, the uh, the gameplay is only getting better and better. We've got and, uh, some crazy teams. Let's go over rosters real quick. So inside of blue team Harris, we've got Ernest, Barcode, Nadit, Fro Frizo, and Arden. On the side of John, we've got KRG, Closed Turtles, Ratatouille, and Bismat. I assume it's business. And we're going okay. right into draft already. We've... So they got oh. some big names on both sides then, to it's be honest some... with you. Yeah, we're, we're getting into it now. This, it is, was... this is the thick of it now. See, listen, the teething issues we had at the start of the day, you know. But now we're getting to the big we're boy gonna... games. Now it's we've got everything out. fixed out. It's, you know what I mean? People it's worth it in the end. Ruckus again. We're banning ROM and controller flanks. We're good to go. We're settling into our rhythm. So, I'm glad yeah. to see Koga being banned when it comes to controllers because I've mm -hmm. when I was practicing controller recently, I always thought Koga was absolutely ridiculous, but I'd never seen him getting banned or anything in the ranked games that I was playing. It was more tailored towards Andros or, or Lex mm -hmm. was getting banned. So it's nice to get a bit of confirmation bias from uh, from these higher tier players as well. And we have the Realm and the Eevee banned out on the other side. So quite a few characters that we've seen throughout the day today, except for Koga yeah. being banned out. And uh, we're now getting a pickup of the Corvus and Vartu. What do you think of that? I kind of like it. I think it leaves your backline open a little bit to the Ruckus, because Corvus is a, little, a wee bit vulnerable to all that. Um, but it's a, it's a Lux. Oh, okay, so... Debated. Okay. I think I like that a little bit better, honestly. Because at you that like point... The legs a bit better? Yeah, because, I mean... I mean, you're going to be able to slap a controller player on it. <laughs> yeah, that's slap true. a controller player on the Lux. I don't mind it early, but already, like, these are, this is a really solid double off tank lineup for Bright Marsh from Harris. Because, I mean, Khan is just kind of gross on this map, that close range to bully them out. The Ruckus can take advantage of Lip really well. I think. And they've gone straight for the double flank on the side of John here as well. We've seen throughout the day, yeah. the more tanks that you're putting onto a team, it seems to be that the more mobility. The other side tends to be the counter for it, you know. You have these large tanks, these large health pools, but once you push into a specific area with those tanks, you know, they're kind of stuck, really. Even Ruckus, to a point, when he's used his three dashes, you know, he's in that area. When you have characters like Andro or, or Lex, once they're in that area, yeah. I mean, you just leave, right? You just let them have that area. It's weird. I think picking them early is also because Now their tank picks are super awkward. We've got the Yag and the Zon bands. They don't want us on. They, they need to pick tanks, and they banned one of them. They end up with mm. the Barrack, which I think is interesting. Harris takes I mean, we've a seen the Barrack have success that. earlier. Such, that's such a solid draft from Blue Team. Though. You have two great <laughs> off tanks. You got a great flank. You got a great support. You got Mark Tyra just making everything better. I'm, ex I'm excited to see how the Lilith plays in a, in a composition like this. Something that I've noticed with Lilith is. She tends to be incredible at keeping a tank on the point alive because she has that Dambergord style heal. You know, you put it down in a specific spot and that area is secured with healing. But when you have characters like Ruckus and Vartu, I find sometimes the more mobility based characters struggle with the heals from um, Lilith because the kiss heal, the, the mobility heal, I don't know. Sometimes it's not the best. It's good. And a it seven, a triple flank composition. Yeah, talk about this with Rock. Yeah, triple flank actually. That's kind of insane. Okay. I yeah, this seven is as well. Funky Interesting. game. I I like it. I mean, the question is, you only have two marks. You have three DPS. So, yeah. like, it's it's really funky. But but honestly, I like it. I like I'm it. excited to see which talent they're going to run on the uh, on the seven as well because seven? I don't think we've seen a seven today. I might be mistaken, but I'm fairly no. confident. At least on stream, we've not seen a seven. It'd be interesting to see which talent, with all the nerfs that have been hit with seven in the recent patches, to see what they're actually going to run on him now as a more viable strategy in higher tier gameplay. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting. I'm just curious who the marks go to. Like you got you got two marks for the core. You got three flanks. Like someone's going on green. 
But... I mean, if Lex is going to be getting frags, right? You just run the cards to give you uh, heals when you kill your target. There you go. There you go. Just, just the big boy them. play. And then you're good to go. So, <laughs> I don't know. I, I do like blue teams draft a bit better. Like, I think it's, it's a little creative from red to draft three flanks. But, like, dude, you just... It's so solid. Like, you have to kill the Tyra. The ty it's a Tyra. The lowest HP pool on their team is, like, 2,700, man. How are yeah. you? Plus, plus, it's going to get pocketed by the love. It's... I think you're really going to have to see these flanks as a big pause from being boat. Um, but I think it's, like, you're going to have to see these flanks put in a lot of work. And I, I think oh, for sure. that's fine. It's just... They're gonna have to fight for you so much to even get close, man. <laughs> That's gonna the trouble die. is as well if the flanks get collapsed on by um, by Nadit and Barcode whilst mm -hmm. Tyra marked. Oh, they're gone. There's very little chance you're surviving that, even through a Corvus pocket. Gone. You know, uh, is th That's so much damage. And I mean, I, I, what is there. it for the Tyra mark at the moment? Fifteen percent increased damage. I think. Yeah. It's... Yeah. It's really good <laughs> if you can set it up well. And yep. it's it's like forget about the flanks, man. What if this Corv gets marked? Like that's True. that's painting a huge target on your back. It's a reveal for a seven in a or sorry, for a Vatu and a Ruckus to come get you. That's Yeah. And it's not a difficult map game. either for either one of those to to push in quite aggressively, you know. Once they have the high ground control with a ruckus, which is fairly easy to accomplish, you know. Um, you don't yeah. need to use many dashes then from anywhere that the Corvus could be potentially healing, you know, if he's on tree, if he's if he's behind the barrier, if, he, if he's to the left of the point, you know, it's, it's not difficult to get to him. So right. maybe the, the negative of having all of these flanks is does one have to stay back and babysit Corvus? How can all three be so aggressive and then have the Corvus be alone with a Vatu Ruckus lying in wait just to push him? Five, four... I mean, it's going to be tough, man. Like, there's, there's no easy answer to that. Like, it's just hard. He's going to have to... The rotations from, from John here are going to have to be really clean as we do get into it. Blue team is going to just start out by taking apps. A bit of a stack on tree here. Arzen walking forward, already positioning pretty aggressively. Forces the barrack out first. I mean, the barrack doing what barrack does, you know. He sits on the point initially. Nadit already getting picked up by B and Boat. Um, I'd like to have seen that. Another one falling as well. Barco falling too here. It seems the uh, the triple flank squad is actually working quite well to, to pick off specific characters together. I mean, they do have that Lex Discovery damage, which is absolutely disgusting. I haven't put in a lot of poke there. Honestly, they got the Ruckus force out. Like, the Ruckus hasn't done much. And again, the can poke out. But Ruckus is going to flip the tables this time. Does get the trade for it, as Ruckus does. So we are currently even. Both teams just barely poking out. No one's really online just yet. Looking Honest a bit dangerous card. here for John, though. You know, I'm sorry, for for Harris here. They Whoa. have the Barrack and already 96%. Now they're in a position where they're going to have to throw characters onto the point just to survive. And I mean, their tankiest character oh is God. not exactly that tanky. Dude! That's gross, man! You can't do that to him like that! That's the power of controller legs, isn't it? That's, that's, dude, that's just... That's not okay. Listen, okay, I, I, I lied, actually. John just won draft because they got, they got controller Lex of a core mark behind him. That is disgusting. But, like, honestly, I don't know if you're going to be able to count all that all game. Like, a lot of the reason that worked is the barrack was on point. So now, well, maybe that objective pressure not being as easy in future rounds. It's going to be a bit harder. More close I don't range know, though. What do they really do to shut down the barrack? Like, the Tyra can do it, but is the Tyra going to be in a position anywhere on the map that isn't going to be mega vulnerable to a triple flank composition? They're just walking They're through. They're winning this poke fight somehow. Honestly, like... Maybe that's it, like, the, the 7 is putting in so much work, the Barrack is putting in so much work. Wrecker, by the way, is going to hurt Blue Team so hard. Yeah. Not even really any alts for them. They have to make something happen on this last choke, because Khan is like, he's just come out of spawn, he's already under so much pressure. Ruckus uses some of his dashes, forces up the Androxes, but they're just kind of poking, just kind of chilling. The, oh my <gasps> god, B and Boat evaporates him. Forget your Tyra marks, you got B and Boat here. Got 15% damage amp in air. Ruckus does go in, but the dome field, they're bullying out points so hard. There's 
Look how safe this Corvus is. Where's the dive from blue team? Where's the anything from blue team? It's just a swarm of flies running around their tank line. And he tries to get the Vox Vault off again. It isn't even to. That is absolutely insane. Leaves the, sp the spray in their spawn door as a gift to say, hey, I was here. Look how badly I'm rolling, you know? It's actually crazy that Nether tried to ult twice in those situations and both times just completely shut down. Unfortunately, the first time he tried to ult was in the midst of um, a, a double set of bombs that the seven had just left in the uh, in the room there. I don't know if that was intentional, but realistically speaking, it's quite a good play to just leave those bombs stacked in that area because you have to clear that out somehow, you know? I mean, they are destroyable now, which does make a big difference, but is there anything you think Harris can do this round to actually try and start to swing this? I mean, they do have the Carnal, which is, is you know, it's that could be a good start getting a pick on one of the characters. Look at this absolute range. Oh, <laughs> I'm he's in trouble. Up master riding, though. Okay, he didn't fall off the map there. It looked like he was about There's to really fall there. Value out there. Now, seven goes to the back line, looking to collapse on the Andy alt. He's going to mm. evaporate. Ruckus getting poked out a little bit. The Black Salt Dude. can't even go off. Barrett getting cap time is the only saving grace for Team John here. Because they're not going to get anything else from this point. It's only the Lilith Vault used for Harris. They have three halts to zone. The boat looking to maybe get a trade. Gonna go to the spawn. Not really anyone to catch out there. He's got the Tyra mark. Just looking to pull people back so his team can maybe get a retake with the four ults that they do have. Good position here from uh, from the Tyra, making sure that nobody can push past just yet. But, uh, oh, they do take out the seven here. The Khan still has ult. Khan falls down to the Lex ult coming through from Ratatouille. But Harris do pick up their first point capture here. Um, they played this so much better, I think. They were a little bit more patience, waited for the uh, the flanks to actually put themselves into worse positions, and great for uh, great picking potential once the enemy started ulting. It just they kind of collapsed on them really well. Yeah, the little fault in the go button. It was, it was discount fury, all, man. It's, it's, that, it's so much the same. You can use it as like global team fight. I'll... Be in boats coming down from the skies. He's just he's just on an adventure. He's going past them. <laughs> he didn't even do anything. He's just in the back line. This doesn't seem to actually be getting any value from the fact that he's doing this. And he's being chased down now. He oh, he didn't hit the shot. Finally, he did it a fool's barcode men's up picking that up. That was that was pretty risky from this from the Vartu there. Really should have picked it up a little bit cleaner. On the ruckus does eventually get the trade 41 hp he's going to live that is absolutely insane that dude they're pushing this so far this is as once again be in boat <laughs> be in boat airlines <laughs> straight to your spawn i think doing? he's gonna spawn camp someone but there's no one to spawn Nobody's camp but get back to the fight your team needs you we're about to lose Bro, what, yeah, the team is is free ultimate. what is he doing back here dude he's doing what like he's doing tickle damage the range on seven is actually pretty ridiculous for a flank uh, you really can't He's in Narnia! <laughs> where is Bro, he? Where Dojo comes is out eventually. He? He's still back there. Finally, does end up turning someone oh, around. Dropped. The pawn does get run over. Is, is he... St I need the B and boat cam right now. He's still back there. <laughs> Finally, there's someone to dismount, though. But he doesn't... I did. He finally gets the dismount on someone in the Please back line. Please, he deserves is he it just being? Is he just trying to be annoying? Because it really doesn't seem like he's... <laughs> Oh, I thought we were going to get another much. back cap again. My heart couldn't take it. He does finally go down, but I mean, he made space, I guess. They got a trade. So <laughs> we will end up holding last. He ends up dying here now, though. Something. It is right. one for one trade, and as always in defense, one for one trades are in your favor. Uh, being Tyrell back does... alive now, does he instantly dash straight out? There he goes! Know? There he goes! <laughs> Gets the kill on the Ernest, I guess. Barrack's still alive, which can be the main thing you're looking for to keep this card contested. Frizo's really deep, has a little fault, he wants to pop it, he does. Blue team with a huge advantage now, just kind of walking forward. Seven does eventually go down, only the Barrack left standing. Too deep, the SL's coming back from John if they can survive the 10 seconds they need. Vatu ult might be what they need to just clean this one up. Barrack's Barrack is a bit of a worm, bit of a worm. Is going to get pushed in though, and okay. Um. You yeah, wouldn't expect we, we this, right? You go from a 2-0 that dog. looks absolutely convincing to just a 2-0 that looks absolutely convincing. Like each well, one I, of I them, the way they've the, the way they've swiped from one side to the other is just it, it looks like two different games so far between the two points. And then being boat in that second point there, like 
I don't know. Does, does, it, does it make sense? Is there something I'm missing that this is there's some value into what he's doing? I, mean, it's, it's I get it. You're valuable. splitting them. You're keeping yourself behind them. They have to be conscious of you, but. Is there anything that is actually Four, accomplishing? Three. You, you can two. do that, sure, but you gotta be threatening. You can't be. You can't be in Narnia. You gotta be. Oh, he's going again. He's got these rollouts down pat. He used every single one of his movement abilities. Where is he going? But he's like, not doing anything. All his movements. He's just all of his movement abilities, and he's just dismounted. He, he's in the same the other team. He's finished his he main ritual and now proceed to actually take part of the fight. Pops is all doesn't really get out of my No he does get Ernest. He does get Ernest, so that he you know okay. what? It was all just a setup. It was just a setup, it was a bait. He's like this, this, this heaven doesn't have cooldowns anymore, guys. Now we can finally push him. He pops well. He's moving around. Okay, I thought that was just most mobility, but no, he does end up getting con ulted. No one from Harris has really died aside from Ernest coming back off spawn. John Team John does have cap. The rock is all in the back line, not really gonna Usual. find too much. But you're okay with that. Harris kind of popped everything, and Team John got 50% off that. And so now we're going to have pretty much just a clean neutral here. John has no ult to here, unfortunately, to be able to retake either. The barracks kind of close to the potential to have an ult. Uh, the amount of capture he has. I don't think he can touch, though. Like, he can get in the back line, but he's not going to touch right. the point. He, like, he's so back, squishy. Back. But they don't have anything besides the barrack to push on. The barracks already literally okay. one tenth HP. Oh, he gets a pick! Oh, he, he, do oh, he, he does! Pick. He gets it done! Now, the Vodge is 1 HP if he knows. The Lilith fault not enough to keep his team alive. Getting pushed by the 5k HP support. Finally, he just gets tire ult that Ernest has had enough of this fool. Gets him out of here. The amount of time he just spent on the healer there as well. Like, he did good damage to the healer. He did make sure the healer was in, a, in, in an uncomfortable situation. But, like, he didn't even miss much. So you can't even blame him, but like he's missing shots on it. But the healer just doesn't die. I mean, that's the power of Lilith, right? Lilith has such incredible HP pool. Good ults on the point. They actually managed to retake here. Um, this is a very impressive retake, to be honest with you. And I guess you have to give it credit off the back end of the, the seven in the back line. Ooh. Okay, right. All right. You killed up two in a 5v2. Let's calm down there. But slow her down before we start spraying. Oh, that the other shield. Okay, oh, not my over Lord. just yet, and you almost just fed. Okay, deep breath. And we go again. So, no alts from Harris right now. We're looking to get this push going, which, I mean, last time it worked out pretty well for them. But that was, I think Harris has made the adaptations. Look how much faster this Ruckus is playing. He's already in the back line. Pop shield missiles. But it's totally is going to go down on the Andro first. His legs mark. That's just. It, they oh, double kill for Arzen. That takes out the Androxes and the Barrack. Now that picks up another one onto the Corvus. And finally, Ratatouille falls as well to barcode. This is a great little great little setup now from Harris. They're already showing more promise in their first defense than uh, in this second defense here from them. Yeah, and I think you, you are maybe going to have some. Some trouble pushing this because just because your alts maybe aren't what is he? I'm getting motion sickness. What is this man? The gyro fool is on the, on the case. <laughs> he's, what is he doing? Look how he's touching their spawn door. How did he get there? He's getting chased. Maybe like they have to respect. This is so awkward to deal with. The little fault comes out. It is gonna work out. Traded two for one actually. It's just the con falling over. Record should be online. He is gonna. He's gonna get picked, and Harris have to buck up to their spawn now. Again, the ults from John aren't great. Where is he? Uh, the guy literally can't keep oh, up with him. Oh, he's back on the mid. He's back in <laughs> he's mid now. Gonna, he just felt. He's going on a trip, dude. Okay, he's gonna back out. Now, now, how do you break this if you're John? You just try to look to break down the con, like. Because again, Wrecker is online. This con's gonna have trouble sustaining. He's got to be really careful. Your strongest ult is that con ult, but how are you gonna make it happen? The Lex ult finds oxygen. And they're gonna have to back off a little bit. Turtles, get no new dashes, does get collapsed on. Ruckus goes down, but I don't think you care about that. They do get cleaned up 20 seconds. It's They might not even get another fight in. They should try and stagger this out a little bit. They do. They do. So, now at this point, oh, geez. I mean, you know what? I know one player who has the mobility to get touch. I'll let you guess who it is. Look at him go. He said, oh, no, he, no, he bounced his head. It's okay, it's okay, the Barrack has it, the Barrack has it. No worries there. So he's gonna look for a play in the back line. It kinda gets caught on the wall, farming barcode, but the Barrack just evaporates instantly with the pressure of five people looking back on him. Overtime means that his team was not back in time to actually help out. 
Now the conch shield is melting, but it's. I mean, how are you going to contest me with the? Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, oh, with the Oh, this is not looking too good for them. They get melted by the Lex. This is the power of the discovery Lex. Once that character is marked, there is very little they can do to survive. Uh, they went for the wrong character mark there. They could have maybe got the uh, the Ruckus. But unfortunately, Ruckus survives. Managed to pick up, I believe, almost wow. a quadra kill there. I believe a quadra kill there for the for the uh, Ruckus to keep the defense. And that's putting us to a three three oh, here. Uh, three ults available on the side of Harris here, with only one ult available on the side of John. It is on Androxus, which can be a nice pick, but I don't really think there is many characters you can pick here with the, an Androxus ult, uh, to be completely honest. The, the most vulnerable would be the Tyra. I mean, the DR that Tyra typically has. It could still be quite difficult, even with the, the Androxus ult, to, to pick that character off. And the remainder of them can quite easily survive through the Andro ult. Right, I, I think it's less Four, the ults that are three, impactful for Team John and more the record coming along. This Khan is going to have a tough time getting his ult off. The Ruckus is going to have a tough time dying. This Master Riding, look at them go. Master Riding. <laughs> look at what they need to achieve a fraction of our power, says B and Boat, as he just dashes casually across the map. Team John doesn't have much map control. They are getting forced out. No ult spent from either team, but they do have Khan ult looking for it. No Barrack Shield. And he knows that. B Boat in the back line. So surprise, that surprise. Just means 3k HP kind of messes up his mobility, but it's okay. As three more messes oh! up his mobility again, but it's okay. He's he in a bad spot. More. He's in no a bad spot problem. here. Ruckus marked by the Lex is being pushed by two flanks. There's finally the, the little fault to come out afterwards, and they are going to get another kill. If they can get more, this is the game over. It's four alts left from Team John. They're very low. Jeez, who's going to get That's the top. Oh, they, got, they got the support, too. Huge they get the trade. No, but look who's back here! It's it's freaking Beamboat, of course. He's back here. He's gonna pull them back in. Give this team a chance. 81% just taking over now. Don't nice, Tarko. They are gonna contest. The seven ult does come out. He's gonna look to get the Woo! con. The wreckers online. You can't survive that anymore. And that will be a retake because Beamboat launched himself like seven nautical miles over the objective to force them to reel back for this part. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> What is this character, man? This is insane. No holes from either team. Cap is just about even, but Harris has to retake. Look at him go. He's in your backline. What's happening in the fight? I don't know, but I, what I do know is that Beamboat is in your backline and he's killed your Tyra. No. He's about to kill your... Tyra. There's no way he killed a little two. She has 600 HP. She's got to run in. Where is he coming from next? There he is. He gets oh, free on the fight. <laughs> I take it all back. He's the best player in the world. He's killed I take it all back. Four, he's the best in the world. Dude, you can't do that. You should. You, you can't do that. <laughs> well, apparently you can. Apparently, all you need to do in this yeah. game, now, ladies and gents, is spoon a man across the map, sit in the back line, poke damage. And that's all there is to this game that's anymore. Insane, man. Like 